So I'm taking you now to uh, another plant. I think I've got this the wrong way around. That's better. Um, this is called uh, Escalonia. It's, uh, this is another introduced species. It's from uh, uh, Chile in uh, South America. I think one source I've heard it uh, quoted from is uh, Kilui Island off the west coast of uh, Chile. And uh, it's often planted as uh, a windbreak. It makes quite good hedging. It has nice pink flowers. And uh, it's also good for, for bees. Bees absolutely love it. Um, and the leaves are like, well, they're like, they look a bit like leather, really. Uh, and they, they've got fine hairs. I think these, these hairs, if I, See if the hand lens will capture this as well as I hope. Uh, there we go. Uh, so it seems to be, yeah, it seems to be hairy. Um, I had thought that maybe, let me see, I'm just gonna check. Hmm, okay. Uh, I thought I thought the hairs, these hairs would be glandular uh, in that they produce, they're like, they're like normal hairs, but they, they produce uh, a sort of sticky, well, actually when I feel that, it is quite sticky. It's definitely, I mean, like, like so. Uh, and, the, and the flowers, nice pretty things that they are. Uh, and then, you can see the ones that are are uh, past their best. Now these ones look as if they've already uh, flowered, have been uh, have been fertilised because they seem to have lost their their petals, and it's just the 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 style uh, the style left, and. Um, Seems to have what looked like. Hmm, maybe that's. Ah, oh, maybe maybe those are the those yellow things in there are the stamens and and this uh, and this thing should be the uh, the uh, oh, the uh, uh, the tube from which uh, the uh, the pollen from bees goes down into there and and then fertilizes it as a as a as a seed um they they do also call them uh fruits because um in a botanical sense fruit doesn't just mean things that uh humans can eat like apples oranges and bananas in the botanical sense it can also just be um any any structure that contains any sort of fleshy, um, any fleshy kind of structure that holds the seed within, which can be eaten and and uh, excreted out somewhere, and and then a, a new plant could uh, potentially grow from from there. Um, I'm not sure if that's how it works with these plants, but it's it's quite neat though, Escalonia. Um, this I'm not sure what it is, uh, and and this if, if any of you guys know know the answer to any of these questions, um, please leave uh, reply in the comments because uh, I could I definitely appreciate a hand with some of these uh, weirder garden plants. Um, one that I'll show you that's also very popular with the bees is uh, 
this thing called uh, California Lilac. And um, it's, uh, you can see it's got lots of tiny little blue flowers and most of them are starting to, well, you can see most of their, uh, most of the styles are uh, poking out there. Um, I don't know if that means that they're done. Well, there's a, there's a, there's a where's the bee? Oh, there you go. So, so bees, bees like it. I have to be careful not to get too close to them. Um, but uh, these nice colors help, certainly help attract them. Um, one thing you might also notice is that uh, the leaves of the, I, I can't remember if I said the name of this plant already, it's called California Lilac, and, uh, and it's, it's a plant native to California, um, hence, hence the name, and it's got, it's got very little leaves in, in, in little leaves in comparison with its, the flowers are, are little and so are the, the leaves. What I might do is, to give you an idea of just how little they are, see, yeah, that's, that's, that's the sort of thing. Um, are they quite prickly? I think they're quite prickly. Yeah, you can see the spines in there. Um, so that's, that's California lilac. It's, uh, it's definitely one of the more colorful things that we have in our garden. Uh, obviously not, not a native plant, but the bees love it all the same.